Uh, my presentation is about embed network telemetry with P4 and FPGA at uh, 100 gigabits per second. First, why embed network telemetry? Before that, uh, let's say that uh, if you are running a network, you should also be running a network monitoring system because otherwise, how can you basically do any decision about your network if you don't know what's going on in the network? The classical way of monitoring networks is NetFlow or newer IP fix method slash protocol. Uh, those those uh, monitoring systems typically collect statistics about packets and flows per network connection, where the connection is what you would expect it to be. So it's a set of packets sharing the same classical five tuple. Uh, this way, uh, this, those statistics are typically collected by switches or routers, or if you want high precision, high quality data, you put in dedicated boxes into your network to see all the traffic and to report on that. This way, you get uh, a lot of really nice information about layer three, layer four, or sometimes even with trips to layer seven, but you know very little about what's going on in the infrastructure at layer two. For example, uh, whether there are overloaded lines, where, whether there are packet drops, or what's the latency of packets in your network. The switches, uh, which cons make the infrastructure, actually hold this information, or can hold the information. But how can we retrieve this information? SNMP has a lot of disadvantages. Uh, the, the biggest one is the lack of detail. You can't report on every packet via SNMP. So here's where the inbound network telemetry uh, can help you. Uh, there's a definition. This is actually the first sentence from, from, the, uh, from the INT specification uh, and in by the P4 consortium. And what it really does is that uh, packets, all of them or some of them, carry dedicated INT headers uh, that are added and filled in by the switches along the way just uh, as the packet crosses the network. So it gathers uh, information about its journey, it, its exact path, of course, but also some advanced stuff like uh, per switch latency, queue occupation, and similar. Uh, this INT is a completely new protocol uh, it's not standardized by I IETF or anything else. Uh, obviously, it needs the support within switches and uh, also endpoints. Therefore, it makes perfect use case for P4. Our goal in, in this project was to create an ultimate INT endpoint and analytics solution uh, and to see how far we can get uh, with P4 in this. Uh, we, I mean Cessnet, we are a Czech and ran a running 100 gig core network serving around 400,000 users. And the uh, research team I'm part of has been doing network acceleration since 2003. And uh, the main applications listed here, uh, we use uh, FPGAs for that, currently targeting 100G Ethernet, PCI Express, DPDK API, and so on. And the most important technology that is, uh, this talk is about is our com compiler from P4 to VHDL, uh, which aims at making hardware acceleration easy, not for the hardware people, but for the network and security people. Uh, the, graphs, uh, the graph down here shows uh, actually FPGA area consumption for various uh, P4 applications and for various throughput because the compiler can be tuned to, to give you a number of results actually. And the more complex application, uh, of course, it takes more space uh, on the FPGA. Uh, the numbers are up to 300 gigabits per second, but let's say that the upper part of the graph is more theoretical and uh, it makes sense to talk about up to 150, let's say. There are commercial partners, Netcope, they o o even have a guy <laughs> sitting over there. Uh, they do the hardware for, for the FPGA acceleration and they donated the card for this project, actually two cards. 
and the Flowmon networks uh, they deal with uh, the network monitoring, c the complete stack for network monitoring. And they have uh, this very nice web GUI showing you uh, graphs about your network. And in addition to those graphs that are only good to managers, there are solid data and query interface to that data so that you can really see what's going on in your network because you know the graphs are for managers. Now, what we did. Uh, basically, we have pre-generated uh, the, the INT traffic because we don't have the INT infrastructure, 100 gig uh, switches capable of INT. So we pre-generated the traffic into PCAPs and sent the files through another FPGA that's the second card at, un at a speed close to 100 gigabits per second. And the primary FPGA uh, does a couple of things. First. Of course, it receives the INT traffic, and then it removes the INT-related uh, headers from the packets via P4 program. The original packets, in terms of the packets without any INT-related stuff, are sent out from the card so that the true destination of those packets never knows that there was INT going on. Is not it's not uh, slowed down by INT analysis, removal, and anything like that. And another thing that the card does is it exports the, the monitoring-related information to the software. P4 has a generate digest uh, keyboard for that. And in the software, there's a DPDK API to receive this information. There's a flow exporter from, uh, from Netcope, uh, from Flowmon. And uh, which exports the statistics to the collector, and the collector provides uh, the visualization and analysis in interface. The simple interface is a console interface where we can see the numbers of, of packets and bytes and uh, stuff like that. Funny part is that the input throughput is bigger than the output throughput because the output packets are shorter. We removed the headers, so it actually does make sense. And finally, there's, a, there's this web GUI uh, that is able to, to show the results of, of uh, in our case, we inserted latency information in the, into the packets. And I hope you can see the green spikes. We generated the spikes. Uh, this as an example of some issue in your network that you may want to analyze in, in a greater detail. Uh, to conclude my speech, uh, we showed that uh, we can do very quickly a new application running at 100 gigabits per second and integrate it into commercial grade solution. Of course, we could do uh, Elasticsearch Logs slash Kibana for, for the visualization, but the performance of such solution is, is really, really bad. The, the Flowmon solution is, is a really fine-tuned fine -tuned, tuned piece of software. It took us about three weeks which is not that much, given it's 100 gig. And what we really had to do is you generate PCAP, not a big deal, write a short P4 uh, uh, program, uh, write some uh, input plugin to understand what the card exports to, to the software via DPDK, and uh, extend the Flowmon collector and its GUI. Uh, there was no the horrible VHDL nor Verilog in this, which is, which is really good. And uh, from this experiment, and also from, from uh, some, some other work with P4, uh, we conclude that uh, synthesis from P4 uh, to FPGA uh, keeps the, the good things of FPGAs, which is especially uh, high-end guaranteed throughput, where you basically your bandwidth is your bus width times frequency, also constant lat latency because the pipeline is basically fixed, and uh, easy extensions for the unanticipated functions in the future. So that's it. Thank you for your time and follow us on Twitter. <laughs>